and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so today as you all can see I'm a little bit in Parrot OS because why not if you can do something then do it if you can use something then use it so while I was trying to code in C++ and for how many months I've been trying to connect my C++ to a database do you know how difficult it is to actually find the answers of what you're looking for? Like it's almost impossible. Everyone's using freaking code blocks, whatever the hell. That is. I'm just going to use VS Code. I don't want to download code blocks. That's just disgusting. I just want to use MySQL, and I want to use C++, and I want to be able to use that with anything, whether it's Sublime Text or on Windows or Linux. I don't care. I don't want to use either Qt or code blocks. I don't want to use any of those two. Keep them away from me. They're disgusting and I will never use them <laughs> unless I really really have to. That is why today I'm going to show you all how to do that. So let me show you an example. Here I have already written the code because of course you need to practice before you do this. When I run it, this is actually inside of a database. So here I've actually displayed everything. So it's the ID, it's the username, their sir or their name, their surname, their email address, and their password. And if you don't believe me, I can actually go here and I can show you. Uh, let's say use TBL users or not use TBL, use uh, my DB uh, database. Okay, and then select star from TBL users. As you can see here, it's the exact same info. And it actually gets this from this database. So if you're going to follow along with this, I need you to first complete a few things. Don't, don't worry, the word is not that difficult. First off, if you do not have MySQL or MariaDB already set up, either one of the two will work perfectly fine. Uh, MySQL or MariaDB, I'm going to use MariaDB, but if you use MySQL, you can follow along. Then you can uh, you just install that, and I'm going to do, it on, do this on Linux. You can also do it on Windows. Procedures might be a little bit different, you might need to go search it up. But for Linux users, this will stay uh, the same for the most part. You don't really have to change a lot. So, anyways, I didn't just create this table, this database. Uh, just my database, and inside of it, you have a table set table users, and boom, here you go your users. And that's all for the SQL part. Then we can actually start to actually code. So I'm going to create a new folder where I'm just going to throw my trash in. And I'm going to uh, say make there. Of course you can use your GUI, you can use your file manager for this, I just don't like it. And I'm going to call it um, yeah. And I'm going to go into a yeah. And I'm going to touch we used to just basically creating a file and we'll call it main.cpp for main.c++ then I'm going to open main.c++ in Visual Studio Code you can use sublime text, code blocks um, whatever else is out there, vim, emacs, nano, you can use whatever you want I'm just going to use Visual Studio Code because I really really enjoy this oh and is this irritating you? let's just do that now we have a full screen so, what do we do first? We first set up our template code as always. So, hashtag include, and we can go IO stream. And we can just add a main here, which will be auto filled for us. Nice. And yeah. Then, to make sure it works, we can just go std cout hello std and l. And then I'm going to just clear the terminal and just say uh, g plus plash 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 uh, main cpp dash o output and then I'm just going to say and dot slash output. Now you're going to compile it and run it afterwards. As you can see, there's hello. If you're using Windows or anything else, you can just normally compile it and just run it afterwards. Um, I just like using this because it's quite fast. Now, uh, what's the difficulty of this? That's probably your question. Can you do this if you're a beginner? Probably no. 
Um, but I'm also a beginner and I did it, so you never know. If you're a beginner, stay tuned, maybe you'll also be able to figure it out. But there are some fairly difficult topics we're going to handle, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to connect create a struct or a class, it's up to you. Um, I'm just going to create a struct because I've done it before with the struct and I actually liked it. So struct and we can just say connection or connection details because this will make it more detailed and then we can say const char if you're using C++ you have to say const. If you're using C you don't need to say const here. Just pointing that out and we want to say server because this is going to be like local host or wherever the server is then we're going to create a pointer and say user so this is the specific user so in my case it would be Netsu password for the database or for the connection and in the database you want to connect to so that's all you have to do in the struct you don't have to do anything else you can just leave that as is and now to create what we need to create, we actually need to include something else. When we go up here, we have to include something that you might need to figure out yourself here because this is going to be very difficult because this is what I struggled with the most. So we can just say include. And for me, I'm going to say Maria DB slash and MySQL dot H. Yours will most likely be different very most likely. Let me show you where you can find this. If you're on Linux, if you're on Windows, I don't know. I think if you're on Windows, you can just say mysql.h if you're on Windows, but I have no idea. If you're on Linux, if you go cd slash usr for user and it includes, then in here you will find, all, if you look for all of this, you'll either find a mysql or a MariaDB, depending which one you're using. If you're using a different database thing, then you won't be seeing MySQL or MariaDB. But I use MariaDB because I'm on Parrot OS. So for me, I can just go to see MariaDB, but if you use MySQL, then you can just say CD MySQL. It should be there. Then inside here, I have my MySQL.h. So, if you use MySQL, then it will be MySQL slash MySQL.h. If you use MariaDB, then it will be MariaDB slash MySQL.h. So, this may change depending on what operating system you have, what type, of, um, what type of SQL language you're going to use, and all of that stuff. So, this is where it's going to be the most difficult, because you have to figure out which one is this. If you're going to run this code just like this, so let's actually run it just like this. Oh wait, I have to go back. CD tilde slash uh, documents. Okay, so if you run this and you get no error at all, that means that this will work. If you run this and you get an error, then that means this is probably incorrect and you need to fix this. Anyways, so let's continue. So first off, we'll create a MySQL and it's going to be a pointer and call it mysql underscore connection underscore setup and this setup will take in the struct connection uh, next next uh, no details Okay, connection details, and then my SQL details. So uh, basically, we're just taking in the struct and we're just giving it this parameter. If you're a beginner, beginner like me, don't confuse this with an actual parameter, because this is one thing, and then this is the parameter. It's like saying const char and then the parameter is like that. Anyways, so after we've done that, it's just MySQL, and then we can just create a pointer with the name connection, and we can make it equal 
to my SQL underscore init and we can say null then we can say if and we can just say not my SQL underscore real underscore connect so if there is a connection problem so to put it actually simply this is just going to try and connect the database or connect to SQL if I'm correct take my words of a grain of salt here then it's going to try and connect so if a connection may fail so here we can go connection and then my SQL details dot server and we remember we put server right here then it's going to check all of this and it's going to try and connect to the database if it cannot connect to the database then this code here will execute otherwise nothing will happen so with, with this I'm just going to copy and paste because this is going to be quite a lot of extra effort and then here we can just say instead of server we can say user and here instead of server we can say password and in here instead of server we can say database so we're just basically throwing everything in here that is why we had to include this struct right here and then afterwards we have to add a few extra parameters so then it's going to be zero null zero so if the error occurs then we're going to give it an output so std c out oh gosh c out and then we want to say connection uh, connection um, error and then we can just throw the connection error out there so my sql underscore error and we can just say connection and then we can say std and val so this will just throw us the error and then we can just say exit one and we correct one refers to if there's like a, a like something went wrong in the process so if something did go wrong somewhere and then like a warning or an error was thrown then stop I think that's what it what the one means because all of these numbers has a specific thing they're looking for okay so if this doesn't exit so if nothing fails then we should return connection so this will return the connection for us and then we need to create them for let's say if we say select star from TBL users then it should return what we want from so this just connects now we need to actually be able to get that information so let's try that so then we can go mysql underscore and if I'm correct it can actually auto complete here because these are actually kind of like built in we can add a star to let's say mysql perform query or you can call even execute so execute query if you want to mysql and you can say store connection to um, to get that and then you can just say const char and you can just go get again sql query So this is just going to basically take in the connection of the database and then the query one we want to execute. Um, this should be const. But uh, just take very great note here that this SQL query, uh, this has to be a char. It cannot be an std string. I did try that and it did not work. So yeah, I did that for you. Then we can create another if statement and we can say my SQL query so my SQL query and we can say connection oh gosh connection and SQL query so if oh gosh why did I do that so if 
something happens here if if an error occurs during the query because this will return uh, true if an error does occur so just take that in mind then go std c out and using my sql uh, query error and then we can just put the output right here uh, my sql error and we can just say connection and then std and out and then we want to exit one again because you know if something does happen we want to quit of course you can probably use something else other than exit but I feel using exit is fine because it works then we can just return if no error occurs we can just return my SQL use result and this will basically return the result of the connection so like it will return the rows if I'm not mistaken okay so now we do need to create the references so then we can go my SQL and we can create the connection con uh, some people like to put an extra end there I don't like the extra end so I'm not going to put it in there and then my SQL underscore res for result so then we can create a pointer res and then my SQL underscore row because this will be the row that's returned from the result because in the table uh, do we have it here see in the table you have your rows so this is going to be the rows and the result will be this this entire thing and this will be the row so yeah you have that and uh, then we have to initiate thingy or struct so struct and connection details and I'm just going to call it my SQL D. So you can actually call it anything you want, but D stands basically for database. So you can actually call it anything you want. I'm just going to say my SQL D and my SQL D dot server and we can make the server. For me it's going to be localhost because I'm using it on my local machine if I want to connect to the database here I'm going to have to use localhost so if I go uh, mariadb unitsu p it's going to connect to netsu at localhost when I do this to get to the database and of course if you use mysql you just use uh, mysql instead of MariaDB because MariaDB and MySQL is so close together it's just strange so then we have MySQL the dot user and this will be your user so in my case it's Netsu because my SQL user is Netsu because we've been using it the entire time you may have someone else so just take that as note and then MySQL the and we can just say dot password now this will be your database password I said mine to root because it's easy to remember so if I go here and I try to connect so uh, Maria DB uh, dash you netsu netsu dash p then I have to insert root in order to connect so but you may have a different password this is everything here is your own customization and then my is oh gosh my sql d dot database now this is the name of the database itself my database name is my database so yours may be different but mine is my database so if I go back here and I say root and I say a show databases as you can see here's my database okay so now we have to actually get the connection ready so we can say con is equal to my SQL SQL underscore 
connection setup and my is my SQL D. So this is going to try and connect uh, the set connect everything using these details uh, that we put in here. So these details. And then results will become mysql underscore execute query or if you chose perform query then it will be perform query con and then let's say we want to select everything from the database every single thing so then select star or from the table not from the database Whew. tbl users okay so now he's just selected everything from table users. So add a semicolon there. So this will return the result of this query in here. So if we can error, it will be in res or actually not even because we already stopped it here at right here. So it won't return res here. It won't return res if something happens. And we actually just exit, uh, stop executing the program. And then, if you want, you can put a message here that says um, it is now displaying the data from the database. Uh, displaying database output or query output or whatever you want to call it. STD and oh gosh, and L. And I like to have a lot of space in here, so I'm just going to put a, a, a new line there as well with the end L. And uh, then I'm going to create a while loop. And this while loop will basically just loop through everything. So we can just go row equals or through each and every row. So my SQL underscore fetch. And we want to fetch the row. And we're going to get the row from the result. So this result will return the entire table and then we will only want one row each and every loop iteration. And while it is not equal to null, so while there is still a row to show us, continue with the code. Let's just clean up. And then we can just go std cout and we can say row at zero. Oh gosh, row at zero. Now, row at zero. Now, what will row at zero return? So, if we say use my data base, uh, select star from TBL users. So, this would be zero, row zero, row one, row two, row three, and row four. If you use a different database, then the oof, you know, sad, sad. Anyways, and we can go and s just add a separator here. You do not need to add a separator, but I feel it's kind of nice to add a separator. And uh, yeah, then we can just add a bunch of extra code like this. So CB. And if you want, you can also add maybe another STD uh, end out because it does get quite messy if they're all clustered together because we're not formatting at all we're just displaying nothing extra again okay, once we've uh, used every once we've used the database we need to clear the result first so my sql underscore free result and this will just remove the result it will basically may probably just free up some memory and then we need to close the SQL connection. So my SQL underscore close, and we just want to close the connection because that's probably a security vulnerability and memory usage if you don't close it. But I don't really know. I don't search up that deeply. Okay, now this code should run, but there's a catch if you want to run this piece of code. Uh, right here, this would probably be in the description. This right here. This is what you're going to use to run it. So let me explain. So first we have a normal G++ output, the normal way of doing this. Then right here, what's happening here is we're saying, as I showed you before, with the with the direction to um, 
is open in our terminal here. So we can go to slash user um, include includes, and then in here, as I showed you before, we can actually go to Mer Maria DB, and in here we can find the MySQL page. So we have to basically redirect the uh, a bunch of uh, a bunch of these things to the MySQL folder inside of this MariaDB. So if we go here and we look here, then you see here's a MySQL folder. Because as you can see the color is different, so it's a folder. The green ones, they are not folders, they are files. The purple ones, they're folders. So this is MySQL folder inside of this. So we have to uh, basically redirect it there. And then we just have to use this um, MariaDB client. If you're using SQL, then this right here should be my SQL and you can probably like remove this probably I don't know so this should be my SQL if you're using my SQL and this instead of Maria DB it should be my SQL L my SQL client not Maria DB client L my SQL client or L Maria DB client whichever you use and uh, yeah and also just make sure to action install everything of MariaDB clients, otherwise this, or MariaDB, otherwise this may give you a few errors. And then here we're just saying, hey, display the output. And, uh, and it, it's not called connection DB, it's actually called main.cpp, so main. Then we run that. Ooh, we got an error. Okay, so it says connection. Let's just copy the actual correct uh, way of saying connection and let's just paste it in there. V. Save that and let's try it again. Here we go. So if not mysql underscore real underscore connect, oh, it should be connect, not connection. Excuse me. So after we've done that, let's try it again and hope we don't get any errors. And here we go. We got the output from the database. And we displayed it right here. So of course you can add some formatting and make this look beautiful. And yeah, that's the basic output. Now, take note: this code will be on GitHub if you want to download it from GitHub. The layout for this database would uh, probably also be on GitHub if you want it. You just have to add your own users. But I will put the layout on the GitHub, and you can just add it to your SQL database thingy. So yeah, the SQL will be there as well as this. Just look in the description and the links will be there or the one link will be there where you can find everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and can now connect to a database. Oh wait, let's also make sure if you do this there that error, error does pop up. As you can see, a MySQL query error. As I told you guys, this will display an error if something happens. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and can now connect your C++ code to a database without any problems. If you do have questions, remember there is a comment section as well as Stack Overflow and forums where you can ask these questions. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.